I'm gonna show you how to make a chocolate bar. Really easy, you just need 30 grams of white chocolate, 100 grams of milk chocolate, You'll need a chocolate bar mold, which you can get easily online, and your choice of toppings. Be creative with it. I've got crushed Oreo, crushed Biscoff, and my favorite, Anglesey sea salt. But go crazy, be a bit creative with it. Crispy bacon in chocolate is amazing, believe it or not. So, we're gonna temper the white chocolate, which means short bursts in the microwave. Get it nice and cool to touch on your lip. If you want more information on that, hit my tempering video right here. White chocolate is melted and tempered. It's cool on my lip and ready to pipe. You'll need a piping bag for this. You can use any plastic bag or you can get specialist piping bags online. A little bit of white chocolate into the corner. Make sure it's nice and neat. You can tie the other end if you like. I'm just going to cut the very corner of the bag, being mindful that the piece of plastic doesn't go into the chocolate. Keep that out of the way. Then we've got a nice fine flow of chocolate. Don't cut the hole too big. You want to be able to do some nice little patterns, smiley faces, love hearts. It's like painting with chocolate. And you can do this at home really easily. You can do stripes. You can brush it in to make a marble pattern, which is really effective when we pour the milk chocolate in. That will really stand out. If you want to write your name, you need to write it backwards. Sorry, yeah. Ollie is quite easy to write backwards. It's like mirror writing. So it's from right to left. As you can see, that's backwards. So when you turn it round, that is how it's going to look. You can also do some little drips coming down from the top, which is very effective and satisfying. Awesome, leave that to set. And then we're going to add the milk chocolate. As long as the chocolate is tempered perfectly, the details should set within a couple of minutes. If it's warm where you are, stick it in the fridge so it sets a little bit quicker. You'll know when it's ready because it will go from being very shiny to being slightly matte. Make sure the white chocolate is set. You don't want to smudge it. Then we're going to add the milk chocolate, making sure this is tempered. I'm going to pour this in. You can use a ladle if it's easier. Fill that up. Keep it nice and tidy. Give it a little shake. Give it a nice tap down so it's smooth and it goes into all the corners. Then you can lift it up and have a look at the detail underneath. Just make sure you don't tip it over your head. Now you've got to be quick. Get your toppings on the back of the bar before the chocolate sets. For me, a little pinch of sea salt. What are you going to put on yours? I can't wait to see. Tag me in your pictures if you give this a go. Crushed Biscoff. Crushed Oreo. But experiment. Try different flavours. Once you've got your toppings on, this can go in the fridge and it will set within about 10 or 15 minutes. In the freezer, even quicker, more like five to 10 minutes. If you wanna get extra creative with this, cut a piece of paper to size and you can give your chocolate bar a name, a Wonka bar, a chock and roll bar, whatever you want. As the chocolate bar starts to set, as long as it's tempered, when it sets, it shrinks. And you can just see around the edges where it's starting to go slightly frosted. And that is where the chocolate is shrinking and coming away from the mold. We want it to be frosted like this end piece all the way across the bar. Unless it's completely frosted, leave it in to set some more. We don't want to rush it out of the mold. Make sure it has this frosted effect right the way across. I'm going to decorate the wrapper now. So I've cut the piece of paper to size so it's ready to wrap around the chocolate bar, which means that the middle bit here is going to be the front of the bar. So that's the bit I'm gonna concentrate on and give it a name, which is gonna be a chock and roll bar. The bar should be ready now. It's been in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Let's have a quick look. As you can see, it's completely frosted on the back of the bar, so the chocolate has come away from the mold. And what that means is we might need to give it a little twist, but as you can see, it's already moving. If we flip it over, it's just gonna release from the mold to reveal the design, ready to pack or ready to eat. 
I'm going to pack this into a clear plastic bag with the wrapper around it. So pop it in the bag, tape the packet there. And with the, the pattern on the bar facing the back of the wrapper, fold that around and tape it. So I've folded it around nice and tight. Solid tape on there. And there we have it, the chock and roll bar. Thank you for joining me making today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see my chocolate Lego video, you can hit the link right here and I'll see you next time. Peace, love, shock and roll.